Hey everyone, JagTaggart93 here with another quick map to review. This 1997 map is called Ra by Jussie Twononen. With a name like Ra, I was expecting an Egyptian style map, but that's not what's here. What you get is a base style map with an underwater cavern area. Granted, the description may sound very boring and typical of hundreds of other maps, but this one's pretty unique. The brushwork, lighting, and level progression may not be anything to write home about, However, this map does very well in providing a good challenge. The enemy placement is really what saves this map from being forgettable. As you play this map, you'll find a difference from other base style maps and how the author positions the grunts and ogres in some very sneaky sniping positions. Here the player really needs to keep on their toes when entering rooms, for if they don't they can expect to be greeted with grenades and gunfire from all sides, above and below. The challenge is made even greater by the fact that ammunition is very, very scarce, and it's likely the player will be down to their axe and a handful of shells for most of the level. I also hate how the level is littered with grunts that drop cells which are absolutely useless as there's not one thunderbolt in sight. Now I could be wrong, there may be a thunderbolt somewhere hidden that I was just not able to find, but this level has unmarked secrets. I did find one secret that was unmarked, but the level states there's no secrets to find, so... Yeah, sometimes unmarked secrets are intentional, but oftentimes they're a mistake. And here I think it was a definite mistake. You see, if one does not present the player with information that there are secrets in a level, then what motivation does the player have to go searching? Again, intentional unmarked secrets are a thing, but that works when there's physical cues and hints in the environment that alert the uh, keen-eyed player that there might be secrets uh, somewhere hidden. Overall, Raw by Jesse Tuononen earns a 4 out of 10. It's not bad. The textures and environments are pretty bland, admittedly. Uh, they work, but meh. Here, though, what makes it a worthwhile download is the challenge. And definitely pick it up if you want a good challenge. And that is really all I have to say about this map. So, thank you for watching. Now, if you're not afraid of spoilers, please keep on watching as I finish this map up. Or if you want to experience this map for yourself, you can go ahead and close this video, download the map, and go play some Quake. Either way, have a good one.